Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I wanted to show you how to create a quick robot voice or stereo vocal effect. Okay, if you never want to miss another video, the first thing you can do to help grow this channel and let more people know that these are good videos is click like on my video. Uh, there's also the subscribe button. Please subscribe. would love you to do that and ding the bell so you never miss another audio production tutorial. I'm going to hop into Adobe Audition. I'm going to record something uh, very original. Let's call the uh, recording robot. I am a robot. Okay, I've done it in that specific monotone. I'm going to actually get rid of this silence. I can do that by selecting the silence and hitting delete, or I can just select the audio I want and hit control or command on a Mac and T for trim. And it trims everything down to size. So I've now got my nice, I am a robot. So lots we can do here. Let's get started with a few basic effects in the effects menu. Uh, so I might go ahead and I might choose to use something that's very, very helpful. Echo uh, under delay and echo. And here we've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, but there is a really, really good one uh, where we've got. So we've got analog delay. We've got echo weighted. We've got format delay, infinite loop, all of that. But if you go to stereo vocals, I, I am a robot. robot. That is one effect you can use. Springy telephone. I, I am a robot. I so, <laughs> lots of different things you can do there with echo if you like. Just remember when you're adding echo, say I wanted to add that springy telephone, I would go ahead and insert a little bit of silence at the end. Edit, insert, silence, just allow that echo to continue. Maybe five seconds of silence. And I'm going to now do this in the effects rack to do it non destructively to this audio so we can add or remove as we like. So delay and echo. Echo, springy telephone. Let's add that as the first effect. I, I am, am a, a robot. robot. Okay, so you've got that kind of continual thing there going on. There's also another really good thing inside delay. Have a look at this. So we've got all this kind of stuff going on in here. Lots of different stuff. Um, but there, there are slapbacks. And if I get the slapback and bring this right down to maybe sort of just a few milliseconds. I, I am, am a, a robot. robot. So all kinds of stuff you can do with delay there. Um, there's also analog delay, and if we look in here, you'll actually see there's the robot voice. I am a robot. And if we actually switch off the echo and focus on that, I am a robot. So that could be quite helpful as well. Another cool thing to pop in there is modulation. And we've got obviously chorus here where we can play with robotic B attack. Which has kind of really reduced the the sound there quite a lot. Um, but if we go to default, we can. I am a robot. We can really have a play with this. And let's bring the feedback up on this. I am a robot. Whoa. I. You have to be careful with how much you do with this. I am a robot. So let's bring this I up. I am a robot. Okay, it's it's crackling away. I am a robot. I am a robot. So that's a, a robot gone wrong. Uh, but the stuff you can do there with chorus, uh, as well as I actually prefer the flanger effect, because that one's a, a bit crunchy on it. And again, you've got the robotic flanger. I am a robot. Let's listen to that on its own. I am a robot. And then without that, I think robotic inside flanger is probably the best robot effect that I know. I am a robot. That's me on my own. That's me with the robotic in flanger. I am a robot. And if you want to make that even further, we could just go ahead and create a multi-track session called robot. And then we'll drag this in. We'll drag it onto maybe a couple of different lines. So I'm holding down the alt key or option on a Mac. And then you just layer it up. I am a robot. And then we can do cool things like going into uh, each track here uh, on the effects rack adding in the time and pitch and we'll go for pitch shifter and we'll just ever so slightly by a few cents bring this down let's yeah. go to the start i am a robot and we can bring that down more i am a robot and it's making a bit of a difference and then over here we'll add time and pitch again this is going to bring up another pitch shifter effect let's push it up a few cents a robot okay now we're getting something good i am a robot just with pitch shifter on a couple of tracks duplicated there going up and down in sense not semitones here we don't want to go too nuts. And then we can pan left and right to give it that stereo effect. 
zoom in a little bit on this and listen back. I am a robot. A nice stereo robotic voice for you there. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to click the like button. And if you want presets that can do all kinds of crazy stereo and robotic effects, go check out my Adobe Audition presets at mrc.fm forward slash presets. That's mrc.fm forward slash presets. Links in the description. And remember to leave a comment and let me know what you'll be doing with this effect and any help you need in the comments down below. Music Radio Creative.com